Okay, everybody, this position. Doing the show. <laughs> Quietness, and then uh, count me in. And that's why I said fish. fish. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking with Carbon. I hope you've had a lovely few months since our last, uh, our last advertise. Now, what is it called? Uh, a thing where you film people. Show, I believe is the word. <laughs> it's, uh, it's in the English language. I should know it. Um, welcome back. We're happy you're, uh, you're back with us again. Uh, today, I am uh, hosting, of course, Cooking with Carbon. Nicholas, unfortunately, uh, our host from last time, couldn't be with us. Um, but uh, instead, I have uh, the pleasure of uh, having Marva Hi. being the host with us today. You may remember Marva from last time when, uh, when she was cooking uh, the Turkish palau, which is basically butter with rice. No, it's, it's very hard to make. <laughs> It's a very special dish. Yeah, in case there's a shortage of butter. It's very hard to make. Uh, but yes, Mervis joining us as a, as a co-host today. And you'll notice the two lovely people here on the sides. Uh, today we are cooking with carbon with the International Committee. Uh, and over to my left we have Miguel, who is uh, one of the founding members of International Committee. Miguel, who the hell are you? What do you do? Well, uh, I have been uh, doing a lot of political stuff in, uh, in PF and yeah. uh, I I, got, uh, I uh, just happened to, to be there when uh, it was founded, and uh, it's uh, been a lovely ride, so uh, I haven't left. You haven't left yet. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's why you're still here. So what is, what is, uh, what is your job at International Committee? Well, I, uh, I could say, say I'm basically like uh, the, uh, a bit of the old man remembering back in my day, but uh, there's also uh, I'm doing the, the practical stuff like what we're doing here and uh, stuff uh -huh. like that. Very good. So old man, practical stuff. Yeah. It's a position. Uh, and over here we have, I want to say Shalotta for some reason. <laughs> That's not your name. It's Your not. name is actually, uh, it's yeah. not Barbara either, is it? No, it's no, not. No, it's Claudia. <laughs> Yes, Hi, Claudia. Correct. First time's the charm. Hi. <laughs> Speaking of old. <laughs> <By the way. coughs> Claudia, uh, welcome. And you're also an international committee in some capacity. Yes. What do you do there? Uh, I joined uh, international committee because uh, I am CAPS for general engineering. And that's the bachelor study line. That's 50% international. And I believe that joining international committee would uh, serve my folks best. Uh, best business. <laughs> yeah, serve your folks the best business. Yes. You're creating an international mafia is what that sounds like, but that's fine. We need more of those. Right? Uh, fantastic. But you're also wearing a particular shirt today, which you can't yes. really see under the apron. Um, you can see it. Yeah. Uh, cups. You are a cups person. Yes. <clears throat> what does a cups person do? Uh, cups stands for uh, co coordinator of the bachelor study start. Um, we basically uh, make sure that the bachelor, uh, new, new bachelor students uh, have a great study start, that they feel uh, like, uh, at the two like home. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> worth a round of applause. Yes, so CUPS do uh, a lot of the intro study start as well, like the MSc uh, people yeah. whom I would know more than, than that. Very good. Okay, you two are both representing two different countries today. Uh, we've got uh, Denmark in the left-hand corner yes. over here, and you're making what for us? Yeah, I'm basically making the, the Danish version of fish and chips, you could say. Um, we're, we're frying some place. It's a flat fish uh, with red spots. It's called rødspætte in Danish, which definitely means red spots. Can you uh, pronounce it again? Rødspætte. <laughs> red spots. Um, and then we're going to uh, uh, cook, cook some potatoes and make some proper sauce to it. And what kind of sauce is that? It is an up-baked uh, parsley sauce. Parsley sauce. Yeah. Parsley sauce. It's a cousin of the very famous Danish Brown sauce. I mean, parsley, though, it's normally what you would have as a garnish on a piece of meat. And that's, that's the thing, like when you go to a restaurant, they garnish it with parsley and then you throw it out before you, you eat it. You can also do You also use it in a lot, a lot of dishes. It, it, Italy is very famous for, for just dumping a shit ton of parsley in everything. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay, don't go to Italy. Got that on my task. Parsley. There are some Italians um, in our audience, so just be careful about Italian. The way we judge, uh, if I'm sure you, you can vote for me here. Coming over attacking yeah, me. Uh, but okay, so fantastic, and it's called fiskefilly, right? Yeah, in Danish or yeah. fish fillets. Fish fillet, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. All right, and over in the right-hand corner, we've yes. got uh, Barbara Claudia, is uh, making what? I am, From where? I am making a Hungarian dish with a Polish twist. It's called lecho. Um, it's basically uh, based on squash and some sausages and uh, chopped tomatoes. And apart from that, you can add basically anything that that fits your uh, taste. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you call it something else uh, um, when we're, we call it yes, uh, garbage um, dish? Yes, we call yeah. it, uh, in Poland, we call it garbage dish. No offense to my Hungarian uh, <laughs> brothers and sisters. Um, we call it garbage dish because it's a dish that you can make basically out of the items you have in a, a fridge already. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely they just made that into a name instead of saying, <laughs> just throw something in a pot. Yeah, yeah of but, okay. out me, out me. <laughs> <laughs> out me. She's lost language. All right. Uh, okay, uh, Mikkel. Yeah. So let's get started. Shall let we? us. <coughs> First, we're going to start by peeling okay. these potatoes. I know. Peel potatoes. Yes, very exciting. But yeah. it's uh, part of very many Danish dishes. Okay. So you're going to peel some potatoes. Yes. First of all, we're going to get the bag open. It's a bit harder than you think. Over here, you're doing okay. what? I am going to start frying the sausages and chop the squash. Chopping, as you mm -hmm. can see, cooking show going off to a ripping start. We're chopping and peeling. You're fucking welcome. This yes. is great television. Yes. I know. Yes. Um, but uh, you're peeling some potatoes. That's fantastic. And you're chopping some stuff. Wonderful. Yeah. Claudia, did you make the bread on? Oh yeah. On your uh, own. The, the bread. The bread you can see on on the table is mm -hmm. uh, homemade bread uh, that I uh, made together with my boyfriend. Um, so uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a bit of a uh, so nice. personal taste to it. Yeah. Cool. But but is. Uh, the difference of this bread from normal bread that we buy from the market? Um, like well, first off, it's homemade. Every, yeah. Everyone should know the difference between the homemade bread and the <laughs> sausages running away. Um, <laughs> everyone should know the difference between a homemade bread, stop running, um, and, a, <gasps> and a store made bread. Yeah. Uh, it's, it always stays uh, uh, fresh longer. Yeah, and uh, you can add a personal touch to it if you like some seeds, some pumpkin yeah. seeds, some sunflower seeds, uh, anything basically. Uh, this one is uh, plain without seeds because that's how I like it the most with lecho. Yeah. All right, so Miguel, we're while we're peeling potatoes. Yeah. Uh, tell me a bit more about international committee. You guys uh, are called international committee, but uh, how am I to understand international in that context? Because you're Danish. Yes. So, so what does it mean to be an international committee then? It's uh, it, basically uh, we started uh, just like, hey, we are gonna uh, find out what uh, well, uh, PF. We had some trouble with like finding out uh, just what the international people wanted, hmm. and uh, so it's just like a, a forum where we could actually get get to hear what's actually going on in the international part of uh, GTU, because we are pretty well off in the uh, in the in the bachelor in the. Uh, in the, the Danish department, uh, but uh, we had actually okay, no clue about yeah. the the other uh, part of DTU. Right, the other part of DTU, yeah. the lost lands of international people. Exactly. Or what? Yeah. Okay. And uh, great, since we are almost in feeling. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, then we just like okay, we ah there they are, um, and and we just uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Claudia, what you are doing right now? I am slicing the squash yeah. to uh, make it uh, peel easier and mm -hmm. uh, remove the seeds if, if they're too big. Uh, usually the, Den uh, the squash I get in Denmark does not have too big of uh, seeds, so they can just go in. Yeah. Uh, it's enough that you peel it um, squash and then some. dice it. And mm -hmm. like, yeah, the slices are like around a centimeter thick. Yeah. Um, so it, some of them will fall apart there while simmering, and some of them will uh, keep keep their shape. So it has a nice, uh, nice structure uh, yeah. to it. Yeah. So you basically, you just cut everything yeah. and put in the same time. Basically, yes. Uh, it's very, very it's, easy. It's a very easy, uh, not very requiring uh, mm -hmm. dish, uh, especially for the students. It requires one pot, one plate, a cutting board, and a knife. That's it. Not, not, not too many uh, uh, dishes to do afterwards, mm -hmm. and um, you know you can just throw in what you have. Yeah, I think it's kind of like <laughs> lazy food, also. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So we're doing water stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're, you know, this is even better than rice and fucking butter. Uh, we're gonna put more waters in the potatoes. Yes. Uh, here. Should Very good. Um, I don't know what kind of cucumber 
uh, Claudia is talking about over there. What kind of mutant cucumber do they have in Poland that has seeds in it? Oh, or um, squash? No, it's squash. Um, I, I, uh, I reckon the cucumbers, like the, the squash in Poland, it grows a bit big, bigger and therefore the, the seeds are a bit thicker and like you, you really notice them if you put them in the dish. Here it's not the case. Uh -huh. okay. By the way, in Turkey they have seeds too. Yeah. Maybe it's problematic not to have seeds, right? I'm not saying Danish is crappy weather for growing stuff. <laughs> or maybe, uh, you know, Denmark just GMOs the, the squashes. I don't know. <laughs> that could, uh, well, maybe. Um, Can you pass me the salt over there? Salt? Yeah, of course. sure. Thank you so much. Um, so these dishes, as always with Cooking with Carbon, are supposed to be super cheap to make. So uh, the whole idea behind our concept, for those who don't really know, is uh, that we want to show you guys some recipes that are uh, not just pasta and ketchup, right? And that you can cook from all around the world that actually taste pretty damn good. So uh, you, these two dishes, I think, have a pretty low uh, basic cost, right? Uh, Miguel, how much does yours cost roughly to make? Roughly, per, per serving, uh, around 30 kroner. 30 crown. Yeah. It's not bad for some fish and some potatoes. No, exa uh, exactly when fish is uh, actually quite expensive, uh, usually. Yeah. yeah, fish is normally expensive, right? Actually, and, <laughs> huh? only the fish are 30 krona, more than 30 krona, the bambox. So when I was buying, I was like, okay. <laughs> so but are you're you not sure eating all the fish by yourself, right? You're splitting it up. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 Each box is usually, is, is usually two so persons. Two people, okay, yeah. for that. Okay. <laughs> And uh, how much does yours cost, roughly? Oh God, you're 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 asking me very difficult questions. I know uh, numbers. You're an engineer. What a terrible thing. To <laughs> um, well, uh, since it's a dish based uh, on your uh, preferences, so it's totally up to you how much it costs. But the base uh, <laughs> for the dish, squash, the sausages, and the chopped uh, tomatoes uh, shouldn't be more than what 15 kroner per serving. 15 crown per serving, okay, that's pretty cheap. Yeah. See, yeah. I think this in, in Denmark, right? I don't know if you've come across this, you know what this like. This is kind of like a Polish, sorry, Hungarian Polish, yeah. Hung Olish. <laughs> uh, it is like a Hung Olish uh, uh, Bixamil. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like a, like a, in Australia you call this like bubble and squeak. It's leftover crap from the night before and the week before that you're whacking a pot and, and making something. Yeah. Well, whatever yeah. went into the trap, right? The trap? Yeah. That is racist. Oh. No, <laughs> Into the trap. We don't always catch our food in Australia. <laughs> Sometimes we have to grow it and kill it. Oh. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty cheap. Uh, pretty cheap to make. So uh, yeah. we will have recipes on uh, on our uh, Facebook page or the Facebook event when this is done, so you can always follow it up. We actually need to share the previous recipes. I just realised <laughs> uh, from the other one. So we'll do that too. We actually. Well done, have uh, one of our old chefs in the audience. You can pan over and see uh, him if you like. I don't know if you can turn around. But there he is. How you doing? The other people, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Welcome to Carbon's uh, Cooking with Carbon. Uh, very good. Um, okay, so you're still chopping. That's great. Yeah. We are graduating from potatoes to... Yes, now uh, we need to get the fish going, of course. So I'm just setting up for the, uh, for the uh, fish supply line. The fish supply line. Yes. Am I, am I going to get a job here? Uh, you might. Right now, I'm just like um, because it's like a three-step process to get the the, the good uh, crumbing of the of the fish. Uh, first, there's flour, and uh, next, there's uh, there's just some uh, some e eggs. Yeah. Uh -huh. You just like scramble with a, with a flour and eggs. Flour and eggs, and oh. then the breadcrumbs called rasp. Um, okay. And uh, actually, the flour is uh, optional, but it does give it a more uh, cr uh, crunchy texture. Okay, so uh, should I uh, mix an egg? Uh, no, I'll actually do this myself. Fine. Fine, Miggle. I'll just step back here and keep hosting. Yeah, we but are still cutting the squash. Squash. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How are you handling that knife? Me? That one. Which one? Uh, that one? Oh, are you are you are you uh, calling me out because I'm a uh, lefty? No, I mean that was not it. It was more you taking the knife and Maybe. then grabbing the stuff off it like this, which freaked me out. Maybe I should. I did not grab the knife. No. Yeah. Maybe I should be the one who is scared of this, you know, and just <laughs> standing next to her. Exactly. But okay, uh, you're doing some breading. Fantastic. So I wanted to ask you a bit about your international again, right? Yes. We didn't quite finish our conversation there. 
You said it was uh, it was something to do with uh, getting uh, the international's needs met. Um, but I understand from you guys, you also have an integration uh, an integration goal as well, right? Yes. It's not just about saying, hey, here's international students. They need um, better yeah. things. Yeah. So. So like it's, uh, the, something else too, right? The the end goal, if you could call it that, is ba uh, is basically that we want to like uh, reduce it to so we only have students at ETU. Some of them happen to be international, and uh, instead of like having these two very distinct groups uh, that are well quite different, we actually just want to be like one one big fa happy family. It's funny because one of the things that I think is weird, right, is when we talk about Danes and international. You say like there's two groups that are different, eh? Yeah. Like one group's different than the other group, but the other group is inherently different from itself as well. Yes. It's a false split that we make, isn't it? Of course. Danish and international, because international is not one fucking group of people. No. Like Turkish and Polish and Hungarian and Molish and fucking Russian and Greek and Italian, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, okay. There we go. And how many people you got members right now? Oh, we got, I think, uh, six, seven, s seven people at the moment. Seven. Yeah, we 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 suffered a great losses uh, under uh, under Corona. We used to, uh, I think we could feel up to 18, 18 at our uh, high, uh, highest point. Eighteen. Yeah. Okay. So we need to get some recruitment up for you. Yes. Guys. Yeah, yeah. Please so join. We're part of the international committee. We'll tell you how to do that afterwards. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys, I am fair. We have a similar goal to carbon as well. I think. Right? You guys want to create a, a campus that looks at internationalization as a concept rather than a description of people. Exactly. Yeah. I like that. Which is why I have brought ketchup to put on your fish. <laughs> now that's rather rude. Because we're all about looking at people's different needs. Right? My need as an international is to put ketchup on my fish. So, I'm just going to sit that there. Right? Because it's a wonderful, I mean look at that beautiful red ruby color. <laughs> you know, full of sugar and other things, like I mean, so possibly tomatoes. I thought yeah. you said we, uh, the point of the show was to show people that we don't have to eat uh, pasta and ketchup all the time. That's right, but fish and ketchup is not <laughs> pasta and ketchup, so your point is mute. Yeah. Come on, pasta and ketchup, I can also hear that. Yeah. <laughs> that was the Italian in the audience uh, having a heart attack from the word ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> and pasta for that sake. Well, yeah. but Friends, if you really want ketchup on your face, may I recommend you to, uh, for the potatoes instead as an uh. alternative to the sauce? No, 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 I'm adamant for the fish. Absolutely freaking adamant. Yeah. Um, feel free to take a seat, guys. We're live, but no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> or just stand around, it's so good. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, actually, I would like to ask what is cats? Because I really wonder when I see yeah. it, I never heard about it. Um, well, um, you guys have a, have a uh, intro week and you have buddies, yeah. right? Yeah. So, um, in, in Bachelor Study Start, we have people that are called vectors, which is okay. a very catchy name because what does a vector do in, in math? I don't know. I it didn't puts, study math. It points into a direction, right? And that's what our people do. And um, uh, CAPS oh, is uh, people that coordinate uh, vectors and yeah. that make sure that they are uh, prepared for the study start, that, uh, that yeah. they are uh, well trained uh, in various uh, stuff like uh, first aid. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have a first aid course uh, uh, this coming week, so uh, yeah. it's gonna be exciting. And uh, we just we just uh, do the whole work from behind the scenes, mm -hmm. uh, so that the new students uh, that come to DTU in uh, August uh, they have the best uh, study start ever. Yeah. And I think we're done with the squash. Yeah, finally we are done. <laughs> yeah. And now what um, what we will do next? Uh, we will chop up some peppers. Yay! More chopping over here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Great. Um, we have some bell peppers. In, yeah. Uh, all all in three colors. Actually, and, uh, they're paprika, and they it's it's coming from Hungarian. Um, so the other languages. Yeah. Just fun well, fact. Okay. And, and some snack peppers. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're just gonna chop them up. <laughs> remove the seeds. Yeah. But when we, are uh, when we are chopping, it should be exactly that size, uh, or uh, like it can be bigger. Uh, or a bit, a bit smaller because uh, pepper does not fall apart the way yeah. squash does. 
Um, so uh, it can still add some nice structure. It just doesn't have to be as big as uh, squash is. Yeah. Yeah. How is it looking with yeah, those eyes? It size? looks great. It looks great. I'm doing great. You're nailing it. <laughs> yes, that chopping can be difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard walking is also slightly hard. It's but, more uh, difficult than making <laughs> rice, you know? That's true. But remember uh, next time uh, to invest in some fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but great. So we're going back to you. We're just <laughs> waiting for what now? The yeah. water to boil, I guess. Yes. Because we don't want the potatoes to be ready before the fish, do we? No. no. Uh, it's actually quite important they're not. Mm. Because uh, normally uh, you could just like, if you had three, it wouldn't really be a, that big of a problem. But since we have two, uh, it's actually, we need the fish to be done before the potatoes, mm -hmm. otherwise we can't proceed with the sauce. Right, so, and so the sauce was, was parsley. Parsley sauce, yes. We're going to bake up a sauce. What is baking up a sauce? I thought you had, like, is that an oven? We don't have an oven. No, 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 no. You have to bake it up in a pan. Oh. <laughs> Learning all these different... I think in Danish you're saying like opak, right? Yes. Like baked up is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I actually don't know what that is. That's called a roux, right? Any French people around? Hey, Morgan. <laughs> is it called a roux when you use flour and butter? A roux? <laughs> roux. Riz. <laughs> flour, maybe, butter, make a sauce. Maybe you're buttering the name. <laughs> I'll get this. <laughs> no, she's completely... <laughs> anyway, it's butter and flour, right? Yes. And then you mix it with parsley. Yeah? Uh, no, uh, there's actually a little bit more to it. Because we, we, we take a little bit of butter and flour, and then the trick here is that... Uh, we're actually going to take some of the water from the potatoes, which is going to have a lot of taste from the potatoes, and, uh, and, and, and use that to uh, add gradually. So you, uh, Oh, okay, because you use the starch from the potatoes, that helps thicken? So like yeah. pasta water, right? Yeah, you could almost. Just with potatoes? Almost, yeah. And, and a little uh, bit of ketchup in the end. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, then, uh, and then we add a little bit of mil milk, you can actually uh, vary it uh, depending on how how much you uh, how heavy you want the sauce. Uh -huh. If you if you want it like really he uh, he heavy like Danish Christmas evening, you're gonna use uh, cream. Uh, here we have a, a good like uh, middle ground, uh -huh. uh, sweet milk, uh, and uh, it can, can, you can go all the way down to just like regular milk. Mm. The full cream milk. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I always made that mistake too. Sweet. Sweet milk. milk. <laughs> I thought it was strange. If you ever come to Denmark from a, an English-speaking country, at least, and you hear the term sweet milk, you think someone's put sugar in the milk. Yeah, no. Because right? it's just, you'd say full cream milk instead of anything. But, uh, yeah, anyway, just a little bit of language fun there, people. <laughs> You're still uh, chopping. Don't, don't even get me started about the dairy alley in the Danish supermarkets. Dairy, now, let's not Danish bash, but let's definitely talk about how terrible the dairy alley is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's going on with that dairy alley? Um... Uh, what? <laughs> What's going on with the dairy alley? What do you not like about the dairy um, alley? No, it's, I mean, uh, as an international, it was super confusing for me to find milk. Um, because, you know, you have, uh, you have People all, those, all okay. those kinds of milk, like mini milk, uh, uh, let milk, uh, soul milk, etc. Uh, you also have A38. Uh, and and uh, a whole bunch of, like, can of milk. And, you know... Once uh, my mom bought can of milk and put it in, uh, in her coffee, that was <laughs> Oh, she did, not, she did not appreciate that. <laughs> do not do that. No. <laughs> so, I mean, you don't like choices, what you're saying. Um, no, no, no. That's I what love, I'm hearing, no, I Barbara. I love the choices, but yeah. if, if all that things are sold in the same box, it might be confusing for you. So in Poland, like, they have them the, in different shapes, so what? Like, you know, you have... Catamilk is shaped like a bear. Um, or no, no, the, mil the milk is actually uh, sold in plastic bottles. Okay, yeah, I, I can recognize so, that like, for sure. Yeah. And, you know, you, don't, you can't translate the names, mm. like, straightforward to, like, see, okay, this product is, I don't know, uh, kefir or something. Mm -hmm. So um, it just takes a lot of, uh, lot of error image. and trials. <laughs> but that's the fun thing, isn't it? Going to a foreign country and walking through a supermarket aisle. I think that's like yeah. one of the funnest things to do when you go traveling, or even when you're just in Denmark for the first time, is just go through and like try and pick out what shit is and see what's different. 
Uh, but also speaking of like uh, accidentally tricking people, or your mum didn't do that, but I tricked someone <laughs> once. Uh, in uh, it was I was when I was studying at Rook, and uh, and I had a friend over for coffee, right? So we made a coffee with uh, and he, his name was Wazir, and he wanted milk in it. Uh, so I put milk in it, and for some reason I had some capers, you know, those small, uh, what's it called? Not sudel, what's sudel? Oh, uh, yeah, capers. We know what capers are, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, good. Uh, so they're like uh, little capers things, right? Um, savory. Uh, and they were sitting on the oh, table, thanks. and my friend was like, why are these here? And I just had this cheeky little fit. So I'm like, well, actually, in Australia, it's very normal to have capers in your coffee. <laughs> And I said it with a straight face, right? And he's, uh, he's just like, oh, no, that's, uh, that can't be right. I'm like, no, no, no it's, it's true. And uh, because I'm an idiot I, or I'm a crazy asshole, I put like four of them in my coffee cup and like took a sip. <laughs> and then, uh, then I said, oh, yeah, and it's like a thing in Australia. It's like a macho, machoisme kind of thing. Mm -hmm. The more you put in there, like the better you are kind of thing. So he's like, oh, okay. And he puts like five of 50, you know, a whole package almost in this coffee and then drinks it and is like, mm -mm, and I'm like, and I just piss myself laughing. And he got very angry. But anyway, that was the end of my story. Thanks for listening. Don't trick <laughs> your friends you unless sharing. you want to keep them. But uh, yeah. yeah, right now finally we are over with the chopping and what uh, we are almost, doing next. Almost done. Oh. Um, there's an Bam, onion. everyone, that's the chopping done. <laughs> no, it's not well over. Done. There's what? onions. <laughs> there's onion to chop. <laughs> Let's take, so. we'll edit that out. There's no <laughs> clapping. <laughs> We're still waiting. We're just trick, looking at trick. the. This is life. <laughs> oh, it is. Damn it. <laughs> okay, how many onions we need? Uh, just one. Nice. Um, I don't need to chop. Great. I'm so chill. glad we bought a whole bag, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's very nice. Good. Um, um, onions are very good. First? Yeah. yeah. But hopefully, when we're done here, we have an audience today. Uh, Georgie just gave a little, maybe a, a sweep over the audience. Uh, hopefully, this will be a common thing from now on. Hello, guys. Wave to the camera. <laughs> um, Sorry, we should have asked you permission for that. <laughs> but uh, but we have an audience here, and there's some other people over there. Try not to film the empty chairs. Makes us look bad. Uh, but um, yeah, so hopefully we'll get more of the the live audience stuff happening uh, next time we do this, which will probably be after the summer. But hopefully we can get people trying all the food that we make today. Uh, we should have enough of it. Um, so uh, so yeah, if you come to one of these things, you'll get some food, which is always a great way to get students doing stuff. <laughs> right? That's. Bribery always works. That's how I get my student helpers to do things. <laughs> yeah, that and I pay them. But well, I don't pay well, them. DTU pays them, but still. Well, yeah. uh, you, you could consider that a form of bribery. I don't bribery. pay you at all. What? You could call, call that a form of bribery. You could call it a form of bribery. Also, it's just you know the trade of goods and services. Okay, so can we maybe start? I don't, we've got to wait for potatoes, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's Actually. Almost boiling. Yeah. Yeah. And that one oh, is great. cooking, and the, it, it's very colorful, you know. Like when you see it, you want to eat it. All right. It's very nice. I, for me, like I would like to eat it. Well, it's gonna be even more colorful. There is the wind. After. Maybe you should stand. <laughs> okay. Can't smell a thing. That's not a good sign in these days, I guess. <laughs> but um, I haven't added the tomatoes yet. Okay. Okay. Be patient. I mean, it's kind of like um, a, a ratatouille, right? Um. Yeah, uh, I I actually heard that from my uh, from my boyfriend uh, the first time I made him uh, lecho. He's like. This is like a deconstructed ratatouille. Yeah, right? Hey, Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> ratatouille. <laughs> ah. Ratatouille. Excellent. See, I'm getting all the French. <laughs> what, what would we do without Morgan? Ah. But um, great. Yes, it is a bit ratatouille. I've never had a real ratatouille. I, I did. I've only, only seen the rat do it. <laughs> Me too. Right? I just watched it. It was so nice. We're so uncultured. That's why we're starting a cooking show. <gasps> it's delightful. All right, so we've got the potatoes boiling. You're doing your chopping. Yeah, Yes. we're continuing the chopping. We maybe should start. Do Let's start the sauce, huh? No, no. not, not the not sauce. The sauce is the very final thing we're going to do. OK. Because we have Don't to, have the the ha ha we have to uh, <laughs> finish <laughs> boiling the potatoes, otherwise we can't use that water. And we need the water for the sauce. Exactly. So Good cooking requires planning. <laughs> And also a lot of patience. See, in a normal cooking show, we go to an ad break right now. Of course, mm. we're not a normal cooking show. So you just have to normal. watch us do all the work. <laughs> um, <clears throat> which I'm sure is great. Hopefully you've got a son in the background in the living room somewhere. Uh, how many are we watching from home, Fedor? Five, hey. Five people. 
That confirmed there are five people. <laughs> Flower and butter is Rue. Yeah. See? Go well, hello to the people from home. Okay. We're done chopping. Yeah, fine. We're done chopping. Uh, okay, so now yeah, you do what? Now uh, the final touch before I start the adding spices right. okay. is to add the chopped tomatoes. And uh, you just pour them in. Yeah. Get it all out. It's very important. Yeah. Uh huh. Then you mix it. Yeah. And just simmer it. In the meantime, you can go uh, do your uh, homework, write a report <laughs> or something. How long is this going to take? <laughs> Uh, unt until you'd won the break. <laughs> so until around 20 okay. minutes. Around 20 okay. I'm so glad we're still going with this thing. Uh, all right, fantastic. Well, I can see over here, we've uh, started uh, doing something to fish. Yes. Um, you're breading the fish. The exactly. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. So it's flour, egg? Uh, flour, egg and breadcrumbs. Flour, egg and breadcrumbs. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, there's actually a version you could use which is uh, quite hot in these days, called with, uh, uh, co with something called panko, which is... Uh, that's... Um, <laughs> that's great, Trent. That's great. <coughs> and yes. I can tell you that water is boiling. Yeah. It's so, okay, we've now covered the potatoes <laughs> with the lid that has sunk it into the pot. How do you feel about melted plastic? Um, not, not, not very good. Yeah, I think it should be fine though, right? Um, uh, could, could, could you take, uh, uh, get it up, up there? Absolutely. Uh, can I get the interns, please? Me? <laughs> Terrible joke. All right. <laughs> I'll uh, get this out right now. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, trip, uh, tip number one, uh, always make sure the lid fits on the fucking pot before you put it on. Son of a car uh, port. Son of a car port. That hurt a lot. Okay. <clears throat> um, oh, we had uh, we had the song, the tongs. Don't uh, interrupt my process, Miguel. <laughs> yeah, we did have tongs, though, didn't we? Hang on. Are you all right, Trent? It's Got just it. boiling water. This little fucker out that kills me. Here we go. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Trent's Getting a Pot Out of the Lid. It's a <laughs> fantastic, uh, fantastic little sideshow here. First of all, when getting a pot out of a, or a lid out of a pot, you need to make sure not to burn the fuck out of yourself. So, get something long. And then you get this thing, I believe they call it tongs, and you put it in the little thingy. And then you lift it up a little bit and smash the potato in the meantime. And then you kind of just lift very so slightly there until you get it out. It's not really weird. And then we get it up there, and I just burnt myself. That hurts a little bit. Oh, we got some water going over there. It's okay. I have another uh, shirt. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Three degree burns have really not hurt anyone, have they really? <laughs> no, they haven't. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just keep... Uh, oh, oh, we've got some progress here. Um, you know what? Tune back later for Trent gets a lid out of a pot. Uh, until then, let's go over to... <laughs> Look on the on the dish. Yeah. Um, it's very colorful. Uh, we're gonna try to reduce it a bit more. Mm. Um, but apart from the spices, it's almost done. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Trent gets a lid out of a pot. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> It really just requires two very simple utensils, uh, a piece of tongs, uh, a, a, a strainer, and um, the third one, which I forgot to mention in the title, uh, which is a spatula. And then you dig it out, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, one boiling pot lid. Don't touch that, though. It's on the ground now. Here we go. Whew. That was, a, that was an ordeal. All right. Um, uh, those potatoes are still boiling, and that's fine. I don't know if we'll get through the whole cooking of the potato, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you think we will? Yes, yes. They're pretty thick potatoes. Yeah, I think like, tr give them tw 20 minutes or something. Uh, Why is everything 20 minutes? <laughs> okay, so we've got 20 minutes <laughs> Yeah. before so anything happens. Is that a correct assumption? No, 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 no. We are, in the meantime, we are cooking the fish. We're cooking fish. fish, okay. Yes, yeah. or frying them, to be exact. Uh, maybe you should make it maximum, because it's not maximum, so it will take more than 20 minutes. Mm. Yes, uh, but when first the oil gets heated up, it can go very, very quickly. Yeah. And I don't want to burn them. Okay. Um, it's very can particular. We get some salt okay. When you're done with the salt. What do you want? Some ketchup? Yeah. 
No. Um, eh, you know, it won't hurt. <laughs> Probably not. But I mean, you just say when. I am ready with the ketchup. Okay. Um, uh, great. There's already tomatoes in it. Like, yeah. <laughs> but Bambi will so put the spices in it. Yeah, we're and gonna start putting it. We should spices maybe get now. a okay. I just need to dish. Figure it out. You will just right. like yeah. All right. So I think while yeah. we've got this stuff going on, yeah. I'm going to introduce a new segment, and we're going to call it "What Would You Not Put Ketchup On From Where You're From?" And we're going to go to the audience. <laughs> okay. So we're going to sit right yeah. next to uh, what's your name? Roberto. Roberto. Do you need help? He said with a horribly Australian accent. Uh, no, Roberto, I tell I'm me, pretty good what is your here? favorite dish from back home mm -hmm. that you would never put ketchup on? Speak into my chest. That's where the microphone is. Lasagna. Lasagna. White lasagna. White lasagna. Yeah. What is there a different color lasagna? Yeah, we have red lasagna and white lasagna. Please white, inform. White lasagna is made with uh, bechamel. Yeah, it's a kind of yeah. cream. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, while red lasagna is made for, uh, with tomatoes and meat. Tomatoes and meat. Yeah. I have never had. No, yes, I have. Okay, I put ketchup on all my lasagna. Sorry, sir, but <laughs> thank you, Roberto. Let's go back here. And what's your name? Martina. Martina, where are you from? Italy. Oh, goodness me. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite dish from home you would never put ketchup on? No dish. Yeah. No dish. Don't put ketchup on any dish or put ketchup on all the dishes. No dish. No dish. Okay, that was very simple. <laughs> Easily. Let's do one more. Don't tell me you're from Italy. No. <laughs> where are you from? Poland. Haha! <laughs> Okay, uh, what is your favorite dish from home you would never put ketchup on? It's pierogi. In uh, English, it's dumplings. I would oh, never, had that. ever put ketchup on them. I'm sorry to say, I've also put ketchup on pierogi. You should never do that. I definitely have. Also, soup dumpling, which is not Polish, but still. My respect. Uh, my <laughs> this is why I get paid to be here. You know? <laughs> Thank you very much. That was that segment. Let's go back to the cooking. Yeah, um, while well, uh, Miguel is uh, adding pepper to his fish, uh, I added some salt, uh, a little bit of chi chili powder, because um, you know it's tomatoes. It's you can you can make it as spicy as your salsa. Do not um, add pepper like this. And I'm gonna wait for the pepper. Ketchup, yeah. Thank yeah. You. The pepper is here. And I, I really I really have to be very very careful because yeah. there's already chili in it. Yeah. Oh, and, the, and the wind is blowing out the pepper, so it's <laughs> good. Yeah, I just remember, like in Turkey, when we are cooking a dish, we always put just a little bit sugar if it's a salty dish. And if it's a dessert, we always put just a little bit salt to balance it. So I think you got that reverse, don't you? No, yeah. no, but like it's kind of like bringing some flavor and balancing it kind of like makes it exciting. So I would put maybe a little bit like sugar, just a little bit sugar in it. I would put, I don't know, cardamom or something. But, uh, no. To make it exciting, <laughs> you know. It's already exciting without your additives, friend. I mean, oh. Oh. <laughs> this is the unlucky table. <laughs> I feel, <laughs> what a no, terrible. No, Paul, no fish was ever harmed to it as long as fi uh, filming of this. <laughs> that is a blatant lie. They're dead on the pan. Uh, well, that was, the, the that was fish, before we started filming. All the filming. fish in this That's program true. are dead. <laughs> Already. <laughs> but yep. Um, I uh, think the fish is getting there. Yeah, we are. I uh, just have to get a little bit more. But uh, if uh, I can see they're getting uh, getting just that fine golden crust here on the side. And what do we look? How do we know when a fish is? Because I find that's one of the hardest things to figure out is when a fish is cooked. I always overdo the fucker. Well, you, you, uh, with this, you just have to look for this this uh, beautiful brown golden crust. Beautiful brown golden crust. See, that's yeah. what I think I have. So is, that, is that right? No, this is actually a little bit underdone. So you did it wrong. We can, always, tur we can always turn it uh, turn it once more later. That's not a big yeah. issue. So it's not like a steak where you only turn it once? Mm. No, uh, it's, it's not. Uh, though if, if you're having a, a very like uh, uneven crust, some, something can fall off you turn too many times. So you, you don't want to overdo it, but like this is fine. This is a, a nice, ste ste steady crust. Beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so um, let's imagine that you were actually working on the report and you came with, uh, with a brilliant title. And, you, and of course, you, uh, you need to uh, take a break because uh, um, you come back to your lecho and you got to <laughs> taste it if you spice it up correctly. And I'm just going to give it a <laughs> nice blow. There, getting it. And um, maybe you should get a spoon too. So, me? Um, okay. So you can tell me, but. Oh, the tasting? Hang on. 
That's totally my jam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Should I also take some from you, the like veggies? Yes, you can. Um, okay. I, Not I, from I, the sausages, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. It um, will be too much. Of course. Oh, trends! <laughs> oh, yes, that <laughs> That's why they're called aprons, because they ape. Yep. Um, it is quite spicy. Well, it is. I haven't tasted it's, it yet. And it's oh. also on, yeah. the, on, a, on, a, on a sweeter end. But uh, let me tell you what you think. Let you tell me what I think? Let me tell you <laughs> what you think. Oh. oh. Let, let me... It, never mind. Why don't okay. you tell me what no. I think? Okay. No, the, 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 su the sun has been very harsh today. <laughs> Oh, that's very lecho. Mm. <laughs> you know it. Super lecho. <laughs> you know it. I think it's very nice. Yeah. I think there is no need to Ooh, add sugar in it. No. Let's just uh, let it simmer so we can reduce. Yeah. But um, yeah. So actually, we're back to writing the report. <laughs> but actually, it's kind of like very, very easy. Yeah. And I think it will be very nice com combine. It, it will combine with Turkish rice very nicely. I've yeah. already done Turkish rice. Yeah, but it will be very nice next to that. Um, and it's also very easy. You can also watch yeah. uh, our previous uh, um, episodes. Yeah, um, you can eat it with rice, as you just suggested. Yeah. Um, back, back at home, I would eat it with uh, potatoes yeah. or, uh, or barley. Or uh, if you're too lazy to uh, cook uh, extras uh, to, and you already use your only pot uh, you have on the, on, in the dorm kitchen, you can, you can also eat it with bread. Great. <laughs> so we're just staring at fish over here. Yeah. It's, uh, See, now we're, to, now we're talking golden crust here. Okay, so I don't know, okay. can we get a zoom of that? Is it possible to get a... Can we get in on that fish there? It is a beautiful... It's so professional. Can we just get a close-up of the fish, please, Georgie? <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, that, yeah. This one needs a little, little bit So more. we're looking for this beautiful golden crust right here. Uh, says Megal. And then we know the fish is... Uh, yes. This one, this one is almost done. This one needs a little bit more work. Okay, good. Um, okay, what's the next step after the fish? Because if we're almost done there, then what do we need? Yes. Well, then we're going to make more fish. Uh, I know, exciting, right? Doing great stuff over here. Um, but yeah. after that, we, uh, when the potatoes are done, we're going to start on the sauce. Great. Excellent, can't wait. And over there, we're still going. Yeah, yeah uh, we are waiting. You, uh, you are welcome to come in with your uh, ketchup if you want. Uh, am I allowed to? Yes. Like it, it'll help the thing? Um, it won't change the taste. <laughs> There's already tomatoes in it. <laughs> but you know, for the pictures, I can pretend that I'm getting mad. If, if no, no, if it adds. I mean, this is ketchup <laughs> is an <laughs> underrated condiment. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because ketchup. It's just like, I mean, it originated in France. The epitome I, Oh, that's so much! <laughs> the epitome of good taste, oh, right? Okay. People often say about ketchup, it's uncultured, right? But I say to them, no, it is not uncultured. Put ketchup on my pasta. Would you like some ketchup on your pasta? I'm open-minded, I want to put Let's give it a go. <laughs> this is some great audience participation. What right has here. the world come to? What kind, is, that, is that chickpeas or is it? You seen it here first, folks. An Italian willingly took ketchup on his pasta. <laughs> also, open-mindedness is good. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I have a spare room. You can just stay in my place, no problem. Uh, claim. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, um, you know, claim uh, or uh, in Danish bolfanga yeah. is uh, what we say in the study start. If you say something, and we would like to see that happen. Mm -hmm. Claim. Claim. <laughs> it's like the word yeet. <laughs> no, not at all. No. Yeet is when you uh, cook something and it's really not good and not, it's not edible, then you yeet it out. I still don't get yeet. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm over 30, I'm allowed not to get yeet, but what the fuck does yeet actually mean? Do you throw, is it throwing yeah, something? Yeah, it's throwing the like... Uh, but what about that SNL skit where he's going like yeet, screech, <laughs> and such? I'm not, um, I'm not very... Um, uh, oh, you're too young for SNL, it's only <laughs> for old people. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair great, enough. so anyway, uh, this looks great after I put the ketchup in it. 
Uh, yeah. I just uh, I just stirred it in. You can't see anything. You can also taste it. It's slightly redder. And I'll give it. Yeah. Uh, it you makes can, you can also right. taste it if uh, how 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 much of a difference it made. I can do that. Yeah. Which was mine? Does it matter? Yeah, I think that was yours. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe we uh, drew the fish, the rest of the fish after the uh, recording. <laughs> yeah. For time's sake. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll continue with these two, and then the potato, and then we'll start doing the sauce. I think then we'll do a nice plate up in about ten minutes. What do you reckon? Uh, well, it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, sure, that's a great idea. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, okay, okay. Um, ah, well, uh, we do ha ha have a, uh, fi uh, a heat sauce uh, more over there, so we can do that. Um, yeah, um, if you can see, uh, if you could see over here, the first fish is actually done. And it has this beautiful golden crust I was talking about. It, it does, it is one of the best dead fish I've ever seen. It, uh, it almost looks very lively. <laughs> actually, we have a heat source here, so we can maybe also continue with the other fishes here. So it will... We can do that. Okay. If uh, Mikkel uh, subscribes to it. Um, <laughs> Um, if if we got uh, like when the potatoes are, do uh, are done, we are uh, gonna need another heat source for the sauce. Right. So we just oh, wait. Okay. We won't do any more fish just yet. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll keep this as our fish uh, supply. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Um, <clears throat> but uh, as many people have, uh, have have perhaps if you've been at introduction, we can heard my talk. You will know that uh, I did the the ultimate Danish uh, sacrilege at Christmas time with this. Um, so at Denmark, you, at Christmas time, you have, uh, you know, the duck and the, the potatoes mm -hmm. and the fucking, what's it called, sausage and all that stuff. Uh, and, you know, my mom brought me up, right? Okay, so I ate every single thing without anything. And then at the end, I'm like, for like the third helping, I'm like, hey, can I have some ketchup, please? And it was at a, an ex-girlfriend's uh, Christmas, family Christmas thing. And the whole table, and the, ta the whole table went silent. I kid you not. I'm not even being dramatic. It went silent. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, everyone just sort of like looked down at their fucking plate and then the grandma was like um, why do you want ketchup and I'm like oh it's just to you know it tastes good I'm like what are you going to have it on I'm like the duck yeah. <laughs> and poor, poor old bitty nearly had a heart attack but I mean she, it took me about 20 minutes right apropos of the cultural stuff that I usually go on about right uh, one of the, the only reason I got uh, I was allowed to do uh, the ketchup on the duck in the end I got my will but because I was like well if we argue from the point that I'm used to something different from you, then it should be allowed for me to do something else. That's the only reason they allowed me to do it. What would have been better is if they like, if they were a bit more like, um, you know what, uh, if that's, that's something you should try, then we'd like to try it. <laughs> In a sense, if I convinced them in a different way, right? But uh, anyway, that was my ketchup and duck story. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I almost missed the chopping. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting, as much as your stories. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I do have the stories. Um, okay. Yeah. I, I really think what we oh. need to do now is, uh, yes, this fish is, is start going on with the sauce. Because this, uh, this is all this needs to do now. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're just writing your report and you come in every set the sentence to check in on it. Okay. And then <laughs> spill stuff. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, uh, great. So. Yes. Let's, uh, I'll take that and then we'll bring on the other pan over here. Yes. For the, oh, we've got a pot, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I'll just put that there. there we go. Okay, now here comes the cream to the cream of Danish cuisine, and that is a, a opbakt sauce or a roux. <laughs> or as they, we got confirmed it was called a roux, right? <laughs> Salor? Good. Yep, or as they say in French, roux. <laughs> Uh, which I believe is the same, um, uh, where you put flour and milk in a thing. And Mikkel's wandering over there. What are you missing? Uh, a knife for the butter. Knife we have... We have two here, if okay. you want to use. Oh, that's uh, maybe a bit excessive. <laughs> uh, I think it's what we have there. Otherwise, uh, you know what? Go outside the box. Use a spoon. Yeah. Do it. You know. Do it. Go crazy, Mikkel. Yes, Don't do tell it. anyone you did it, but do it anyway. You know? <laughs> I think uh, well, the first step here is actually going to be a little bit faster because we're out here in the very nice weather, so the uh, butter is al almost uh, <coughs> melted on its so all on its own. We might want to see this go to a fridge in the nearby future. Uh, yes. All of them. 
make some more room. So are we waiting for the water to be to evaporate? Okay. Yeah, to reduce as much. So yeah. you d so you don't eat a tomato soup with uh, squash pieces on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's go over here to the room. Tomato ketchup soup. Yes. Now, so made it good. now we have, have, have the, <coughs> the, the butter nice and boiled. Yep. And then we're going to add uh, flour. Flour, yes. And I'm not very comfortable in adding with that a spoon. So I'll just go grab another. All right. Okay, fresh. and then you, you beat the crap out of that, right? You just go. Exactly. Yeah. You know, actually, I just thought that, like, you can put like, cream cheese on top of the bread. Yeah. And then, a little bit from the sauce, use yeah. it as a sauce. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. We're going to take away from your bread talk for one second. <laughs> okay. Because we're making a roux. Yeah. Okay. Oh, exciting. We're a damn roux. Exciting. <laughs> Okay, so he just mixed the butter in with the flour. Yeah. He just mixed the butter in with the flour guy. Okay, yes. here we go. And, and we step. want to like try to see if we can get uh, get as many lumps out as possible in, during this stage. Mm -hmm. Like fluffing a pillow. Yes, exactly. Um, a strange reference. Maybe. <laughs> just fluff it up. And actually, quite uh, now it's actually uh, like quite quite liquid. Uh, it, that will change when we add water. I know it's actually quite weird. Uh, but the water is a lot uh, hotter than uh, than this, mm -hmm. and that will make the the protein uh, in steam nature and uh, get get us all this this dough like texture. Uh, and then we're slowly gonna add more and more water until we it, we get it liquid again. Okay. Do you know the the chemical things and everything? Yes, I do study biology. Well, that would make <laughs> that would make sense quite a lot. Yes. Uh, but uh, if uh, people in the audience, if you need to go because of classes, uh, we won't hold it against you. So we won't uh, get distracted by you leaving. The session. I don't think you were thinking about that anyway. Just with a fucking <laughs> no, <okay. laughs> But <laughs> well, you know, it's okay. Great. So it's now become little globby uh, things. Right? Yes. So how many people have made a roux before? Like, have you made a roux? No. No. Have I in the audience? Hands roux. No. Well, maybe Good. I tried doing it, but never succeeded. I made my first successful one making the lasagna, which I think you classified as a white <coughs> lasagna, it with the uh, with the uh, the Becca mail. Becca yeah. Mail. Yes. <laughs> with the Becky mail. Oh. Got the Becky mail sauce in there. A little heavy Australian there. Oh. Put a bit of the Becky in the fucking in the in, the, in the shit there, and you fucking bake it up, and it's great. I um, yes, don't 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 try. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, but uh, no, I made, that's when I made the first successful one, making um, nice. a thing. I have this cookbook at home called, uh, Miguel's doing great over there. I uh, have this cookbook at home called The Silver Spoon, uh, which I, you don't know what that is? I'm pointing at the Italians over here. The Silver Spoon, no? no what is that? It's apparently, we were told, because you know, we're not Italian, that it was the, the cookbook every Italian household has. Uh, it's probably a lie, being that everyone's looking at me very blankly. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's where I made my first lasagna uh, with the uh, with the thing, and uh, and I followed it like step by step. Yeah. Fucking delicious, because there was no garlic in it for some what? reason. Yeah, what? not in this recipe. And what? I'm like, this can't be good. But it was freaking amazing. Either that, or I skipped the garlic. Maybe I missed that, because <laughs> it still seems wrong to me. But I'm pretty sure it had no, no garlic. That happened. Yeah. Okay, we're getting a confirmation. Garlic is not a normal thing for some. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, yeah. See, uh, again, I think it's sort of like an Anglo-Saxon thing. Just whack fucking garlic in everything, and it tastes good, right? I mean, that's, yeah. Also an Indian thing, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, we are still beating the shit out of the... Uh, the uh, uh, it, it looks... I don't know I how to... I wonder how it looks out. Well, it's kind of like, uh, imagine if you threw something up, then mix flour with that's it. That's oh. what it kind of—it's got this weird, like, floaty thing. Going on. That's not very appetizing. Stuff. No, it's not. It's gonna it'll, be better. It'll get better though. It, it'll, hey, you, I'm just. But you can't just refer to pure cow cooking. <laughs> Clearly, madam, you've never been to Sydney. No. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, and how long should you go about doing that? Till it gets brown? Uh, no, no. We definitely don't want it. Don't want it to get uh, get brown. Um. Oh, that's just the potatoes being done there. Oh, look at you being all good. Okay, so uh, they are done, are they? Yeah, they should be. They should be pretty done. Um, can I get a colander? Yeah. That fella, no, a colander. No. 
A colander. You're you're very cold. So, so cold. Colander. A colander. <laughs> a thing you drain water from. A uh, we don't <laughs> we don't we don't want to drain drain all, all the water just oh. yet. We're still gonna need a Why colander. Why you me like that? <laughs> Sorry, that was terrible. <laughs> So we, okay, that's right. You want to use the water. Yes. Don't you? Yeah. So I've just turned down the water and uh, uh, to. It's very good. Okay, then we just leave the potatoes. But should I fish some potatoes out for you? You can do that. Yeah, I can definitely do. It's in the blood. I got a. Yes, right. So you. Yeah, I didn't think you would. Ah, uh, no. I'm gonna use this one. I've. I've huh? I, I used this one. Can, uh, can you just grab that for me? Thank you. Okay, the, this, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the, uh, the central element of all Danish cuisine, the humble potato. Now, I say that with a slight amount of uh, sarcasm, but, it's I mean... All, it's also true. But you can do a lot of shit with potatoes. And, and Danes yeah? sound like uh, they have uh, uh, potato mouth when they talk. What? Danes sound like have, they have a potato mouth when they talk. A whole packet. Why are you throwing my potatoes? Are you just going to stand there and take all that Danish, that talk there about the Danish language, Mingo? Well, it's not exactly new. And uh, this is just not getting there. It's doing great. Look, look to the light. No, it's not. Actually, quite. But don't worry. We'll eat whatever you serve us. Yeah. That's my got to get a little bit lumpy, and I... <sighs> So good. Um, what do you think about Danish language? What do I think about Danish language? Um, we'll go to a break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Danish language is uh, it's uh, it's difficult yeah. to pronounce, but grammatically I think it's not so bad. Yeah. So yeah. I think uh, you know you get you get that saying or like Danish is one of the hardest languages in the world. I don't know if that's no true. Way. You know, I think it's uh, I think it's getting your 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 tongue around the vowels, right? Yeah. Like uh, like um, you know, what's the one I always have trouble with? Still, after 15 years, I still have trouble with root as in a root in the ground, council as in I'm canceling you, and um, red, red. Well, well uh, red red and root explains it because it's almost the same. Uh, yeah, but it's like well 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 well. Yeah. Anyone walking past that's never heard Danish is like, these people have got food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I still, uh, so yeah, I think pronunciation is the, the worst bit. Otherwise, yeah. you know, I mean, it's, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fine. There, it's fine. It'll do. Yeah, so yeah, insert, yeah. insert the it's fine meme. <laughs> yeah. Though, there, uh, like, um, many people, like, also uh, express, like, uh, trouble with spelling. There's, like, oh, yeah. lots of, of, like, Seemingly nonsic and nonsensical ways to spell things. Uh, yeah, well, you only pronounce half of the fucking thing, like when you. Yes, say it. yes. And like, uh, like uh, what's the, what's the good morning? Oh, yeah. I, I morning. Where's no. the fucking G? <laughs> Where did it go? Yeah. Why is it not pronounced? <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll give you one better. I would never uh, spell yes for the way it's spelled. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. But Polish, though, I would say that's harder than Danish to pronounce. Oh, yeah. because we pronounce everything. Things yeah, people, uh, have, but it, have the letters. it's <laughs> also the, the the stunted, not stunted. It's it's called a guttural stop, I think, where you have the the short T's, and so yeah. so yeah. I, I tried to learn Lithuanian once. Um, <laughs> that was a disaster. Uh, but like, and that they they there's this the way you pronounce T's. So like if you're pronouncing a T in English, you would have this airiness to it. T. But if you're speaking uh, Lithuanian or um, several other Slavic languages, you have this. This like stop. You don't you don't breathe out, mm -hmm. which I found is it was really hard to to recreate. Uh, although the trick is say stop three times, stop stop stop, yeah. top 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 top, up uh, oh, stop stop <gasps> stutter stutter. There you go. Yeah. How's our roux? It's recovering. It's co it's recovering. Great. I'm gonna take an executive decision here. Let's start serving your thing. Yes. Do you okay. think it's servable? Yes, it is. Great. It was just uh, simmering and um, you know, reducing our yeah. our cups of bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Out.
Uh, yes, I need more stuff. <laughs> uh, should I bring uh, plastic uh, plates from the room? Do we have plastic yeah. plates? Yes, please. And, and we have also these. glasses, like plastic glasses. Oh, just plastic plates. And some more of these would be great. Okay. Yeah. Great. So Mervis is going to back to get some uh, some things. Uh, we are going a little over time, I uh, I know, but uh, but uh, if you're watching us uh, here or anywhere else, then uh, if you're still with us, then great. <laughs> if not, then have fun in class. Great. And uh, I want to take the opportunity also, if there's anyone watching or here that uh, would like to uh, be a part of this, uh, the next one I think we haven't talked about when it will be, but hopefully it'll be. Uh, in the autumn, um, so either in August or, no, not August, because you guys are somewhere else. Probably in, uh, what's after August? September. Thank you. <laughs> uh, probably in September. Uh, so if you do want to be uh, a part of this cooking show, um, uh, then uh, either as a, well, pretty much as a cook, then, then let us know. Um, usually I have my co-host Nick with us, and uh, we have a, a bit more fun on stage, but uh, he unfortunately couldn't be with us. But, uh, but yeah, if you uh, want to be a part of that, let us know. Send us an email at... Uh, carbon at dg.dk and we're happy to have you um, uh, we've had so far Indian Turkish Polish with Danish Hungarian with a Polish twist Hungolish. so I don't get the yeah. <laughs> and I guess we also have a bit of French here as well well a, a roux <laughs> a roux very good ah I don't think this is going to be good it doesn't matter they can't taste it off camera that's the good thing about a cooking show. Mm. Yeah. It just keeps on clumping and I can't get it out. You know, cooking shows you like, it's completely inedible that it works all right. Like the fish is great. The <laughs> fish is great. And I just don't know what's happening with this sauce here. We're going to have to comfort Mikkel after this, I can feel. It's going to be fine. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Oh, now, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Mikkel's happy. Mikkel's getting happy. Yes, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, we're waiting for the plastic yeah. plates at the moment. But uh, hey, tell us a funny story. Um, okay, a cooking related story. Um, my boyfriend's uh, uh, a Dane. Uh, he's, he's gone to a uh, family uh, dinner uh, back to my house with, with my family. And um, you know, my mom always likes to burn stuff for herself because. Well, we like burnt, uh, also like burnt corners from the cake or uh, some extra burnt meat. And um, my boyfriend noticed it and like, he asked, what happened? Did you like forget to turn it? And I'm like, no, 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 it's okay, it's on purpose. And he's like, but why? Burnt is not a spy. And uh, everyone that has heard that story uh, has only ever disagreed with him. Because burnt indeed is a spice. Only Danes disagree. <laughs> I see why? Why? Things. Why would you ever burn stuff? Um, because it look, it tastes great. No, it tastes like fucking carbon. No offense, <laughs> friend. <laughs> but um. <laughs> now we give you ten crowns for saying the name and the title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we're getting something. This this is really uh, has. We've got a little bit of food. Uh, we'll try and spread it around as much as possible. We'd love you all to try what's up here. Um, uh, Marva and, uh, and uh, uh, oh my yeah. God, Why Claudia. Oh, Claudia. <laughs> Claudia, 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 Claudia. Barbara and Claudia, oh my God. No. <laughs> Merv and Claudia, <laughs> come on. It's not that hard. Let's just skip to the part where we serve food. <laughs> yeah. Person one over here will serve uh, food uh, on a plate, and if there's a, we'll hopefully make enough to go around. If there's not, bear with us. But uh, just a little bit on each plate yeah, yeah, for a trying. Uh, cut your bread into small cubes. <laughs> Homemade bread. Looking forward to tasting that. Um, and uh, and please try some. Let us know what you what you think. Trent, would you uh, mind passing me the milk? I would love to. There is the milk. Oh, Thank you. you can grab both our spoons. And now. We if, don't if we could, could get the camera over here, you would see a beautiful sauce. Simply magnificent. Simply magnificent. Yes. Simply magnificent. This was saved from, uh, saved from a coma 
and now it is really nice, beautiful, and creamy. And uh, yeah, I'm actually quite uh, quite amazed. It's good, Miko. I'm glad you're amazed with your sauce. <laughs> like, like uh, I, it was li on life support, uh, and the fits, uh, his family were, were always like, uh, we, I, I don't think it will ever wake up. We should, uh, we should tur turn it off. And, and then we did. And then it's just like, but then miraculously, it didn't die. Yeah. And now, and now he's back, <laughs> he's healthy, mm -hmm. and he's beautiful. And an example, <laughs> perhaps, of, uh, yeah, of Dana Schumer you're coming with there, which is borderlining inappropriate. But <laughs> Um, but yes, so um, also, uh, could you please serve me up one so we can try it as well? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Miguel, while you uh, continue and with the sauce other, there. Uh, volunteers for Lecho. Thank you. Glad to hear that. You stole my line. <laughs> you need to come up okay. with something more creative. I can do that. Yeah. actually very hot. <laughs> that is uh, actually really good. You can really taste the ketchup. <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was afraid it would be all that, you know, sometimes you just throw vegetables together and you mush them and they just become this mushy vegetable yeah. taste. But this doesn't, this kind of, this kind of. No, the pepper, the pepper, uh, the bell peppers don't get so, so mushy. So um, the squash only goes into like puree, puree mm -hmm. and then you put, uh, you, s you, you sometimes uh, use uh, cauliflower if you want a bit more structure. Mm -hmm. Uh, cauliflower? Yeah, that broccoli. makes me fart terribly. I can't have cauliflower. Well, uh, that sounds like a you problem. But, um, yeah. And, and my girlfriend. Viewers, really nice. <laughs> uh, if you like cauliflower, you can also put mm -hmm. inside any, any, any veggies, basically. Mm -hmm. um, no, that, that, uh, that works. Yeah. Actually, there is a sweet taste in it. Ketchup. Like sugary. Oh, okay. I think it's a ketchup. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can confirm there is sugar in ketchup. Yeah, I, th I think so too. Quite a lot. That's why I like it. <laughs> Great. So, um, I would call that a success. Pretty thank much. You. Um, while we're waiting for Mikkel, let's sign off over here for you. Yeah. And say thank you so much for being with us. Uh, thank um, you for inviting me. Of course. Uh, yeah. It's been a pleasure. And spread the word if anyone you know wants to join us. Otherwise, um, this was a really nice dish. We'll put the recipe up. You'll send it to us. Yes. We'll put it on, the, uh, on our Facebook group. Right? Yeah, I'm looking at uh, one of uh, Carbon's uh, employees, but he's distracted. Yes, it'll be on our Facebook page um, with a recipe and people can make it at home. Um, uh, just in case, if I wanted to get involved in studi uh, Study Start, uh, I guess on the bachelor level with you guys, how would I do that? What, uh, what would um, I do to get involved? Uh, you can uh, become a vector. We're going to uh, look for uh, winter vectors in uh, September, October ish. Yeah. Um, you can also become a bum, that's going to be a bit later. A what? Uh, a bum, um, a, a, kitchen, a kitchen crew. Um, call that a bum, do we? Yeah, we, okay. we call it a bum from, from Danish. Um, we, okay. we borrow a lot of words in the study start. Okay, um, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. And who would I write to, to, to figure that just out? Just find CAPS. There's a Facebook, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Facebook page called CAPS DTU. Yeah, and that's K-A-B, right? That, that's K-A-B, like on my Lego. K-A-B. <laughs> Kilo, Alpha, Beta, yes. right? Um, Sierra. Yes, exactly. Yeah, caps. Um, if you want to become a part of the study start, just write us and we'll answer your questions. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank Let's you. give her a round of applause and clap her out. <laughs> Very good. All right, here we go. Where did we get to with the sauce <laughs> over here? We I have now entered face. parsley you land. Don't want face. We have, and it's actually pretty much ready to serve. So. Great. Well, that is perfect timing. I'll let you plate up. You are the master here. So we have our fish. Here it is. Yes, you have several to choose from. Okay, so uh, we didn't see the parsley go in, but basically you just added the parsley and stirred. Yeah. Right? It's, it's no. not that difficult. No. Okay. Except that you stirred with the sauce for about 10 minutes. <laughs> it yeah. seems difficult to me. Yeah, <laughs> it requires a lot of work, but okay. but I can see it pays off. Right? Usually, usually it, it requires less work. I am not exactly sure why it was so difficult this time, but um, well, it pays. Great, play it up for us. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, well, you got a knife right there. It's not clean, but it'll have to do. 
And we did have a fork over here. Here we go. One clean fork. All right. So you put the sauce on the potato, not the fish? Yes. OK. This is for me to taste? Yes. Um, Wonderful. I, OK, there we go. I will recommend you eating it with a fork or a spoon okay. uh, and a knife. But otherwise, you've got to get really messy. Uh, well, I'm the king of messy. It's fine. <laughs> uh, OK, so this is the labor of your love for uh, the better part of an hour, actually. Yeah. OK, so I'm just going to try le patato with the uh, parsley sauce. It's surprisingly good. I hate parsley, but that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't get the parsley miss. And some uh, rose butter. Yep, tastes like that's really good crumb actually. It is. It's I'll give you the kudos there. Mhm. Mm it's really the the flour really like drives it home. You can you can you can do it without the flour. It will just be a, a little more crumbly, a little little less dense. Mm. This I mean, you can really feel the crunchiness there. Yeah, it's yeah. Actually really nice. All right, Miguel. Thank you for slaving over a hot stove for us for the better part of an hour and a bit. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And uh, as uh, as with uh, Claudia, we're going to put your recipe on the on the Facebook page. Um, until then, if I want to be part of uh, PF International, what do I do? Well, you can write a, uh, a an email to pf at international .dk uh -huh. and say, hey, I want to be part of International Committee, and uh, we'll do the rest for you. Great. And what can you do in International Committee? Can I create events, or what's my deal? Yes. Uh, we have uh, once ho uh, hosted uh, karaoke. If uh, if anyone has been here for a, a bit longer time, mm -hmm. they, uh, before Corona, they would remember the inter uh, international karaoke, um, which uh, was great. We had uh, we had all, all s uh, sort of things. I was uh, I was trying to sing uh, Gangnam Style back then. That would have been an interesting sight. Yes, it was. I was yeah. luckily helped out by a Korean. <laughs> that always helps. That all right, mate, thank you so much for being with us, and uh, we'll catch you next time, hopefully. So that's it from us. Thank you for joining us. That was a really long fucking program uh, with a lot of dead air, but that's how we do it here in Carbon. Um, so uh, join us next time, hopefully in the new semester. And uh, if you want to be part of the program, then just throw us an email, and we gladly have you on board. Uh, we're also opening up for audiences in the new semester, so uh, we'd love a few more people around, and we'll get some more audience interaction going. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful sunny day. Thanks for coming, guys. That's really.